We are a public transport provider, uh, but we like to see the market no longer as public transport, but as shared mobility. So we think that uh, the future will be a combination of different technologies, uh, making traveling a lot easier. In this initiative, there's a number of partners. It's Ericsson, it's Nobina, it's Shista Science City. Why do we need these partners? Because all contribute with something. Ericsson has a part of the technology. We have the knowledge of, of driving buses. Uh, Shista Science City is a community. These partners together are looking at how could we create a test site to develop the future of mobility. And we're convinced that if you combine those knowledges, you can create something really good. The goal for these partnerships is really to show the benefits of new enabling technologies. The transport is, as you know, quite complex, so partnership in finding optimal solution for the complete transport system is absolutely crucial. And to do that in a way that we as users, travelers, citizens, find the benefits real to our daily life. So this is self-driving vehicles, and what it will mean for commuters is that you will have a much more seamless experience traveling from door to door. Every morning, uh, dropping the kids and then going to work, it takes about one hour. And then uh, we take the bus, the train, and then drive. 30 minutes with train, and then 10 minutes with bus. Subway for maybe 15, and then a walk. Uh, we're riding a self-driving uh, shuttle, is that it? Yeah. Hey, this is the future. It felt better than a normal driving person. It's just so much more convenient. You can read, you can talk, you can, well, it, it's a more relaxing travel. Imagine the future, think like this, you will have a personal digital travel assistant. So you will point in, I'm here right now and I want to travel to B. Nowadays you still have to walk to the bus stop. With this technology we can have the bus pick you up and take you to a bigger bus and transport you where you want to go. I think the future is closer than we think because a child born today, I don't think in 18 years you're going to need a license anymore. What we will see in the end is a combination of different mobilities. It might be minibuses, it might be bigger buses, it might be taxis, it might be cars, but we will provide seamless combined services. Uh, the thing that is unique here is that we have a possibility to connect to a 5G network, and that is very important for the future of these sort of solutions. Many talk about smart cities. I think we want to talk about sustainable smart cities. To make a sustainable smart city requires a little bit more about how you deploy the technology. And of course, an, a sustainable transport system is important for that. Shared mobility will lead to less CO2 emissions. If you sit two persons in a car instead of driving two cars, of course that has an effect. If you share a bus, the effects are bigger. So it will definitely have a positive impact on the environment. The future is here. And, um, Instead of talking about it, it's better to create it, and that's what we're doing.